Hey guys and welcome back to the next video which will be about how to upgrade your Zabbix installation to the next release and in this case it will be upgrade from Zabbix 3.0 to the recent version of the Zabbix 4.0 and uh, why should we do that? Well, first of all, there is a lot of new functionality, of course, but one of the major reasons could also be the support. Support of existing major version of your Zabbix system. And to know about that a little bit more, we should look in the Zabbix life cycle, the supported Zabbix releases, and you can see that we're not far away from this date when the support, the full support of Zabbix 3.0, which is also LTS long-term support version, will be stopped. And it will be supported only for limited support, which is, uh, uh, well, Basically, those are just critical fixes and uh, normally, not always, you would want to rely on those critical fixes. So you just upgrade to the next supported version. And uh, in this case, nowadays, it is Zabbix 4.0, which will be fully supported for the next basically almost four years and then additionally two years for the limited support. Previous versions, uh, right now I have 3.0 here on my test box and I'm planning to upgrade it to 4.0 but in between we have also the great release of 3.4 and also 3.2. Well, the story about those versions is that those were not LTS versions, which means that here we got, uh, as example, 3.2 and the support of this version was dropped immediately when 3.4 was released. And support of 3.4 was dropped when 4.0 was released. And it was already like, uh, um, soon it will be, I guess, 6 months. So, yeah, those versions are not supported anymore and you should consider to upgrading to the latest version, the latest LTS version 4.0. Then, the next story. So, what exactly should you know and uh, should you consider when you're planning to upgrade? First of all, reading the upgrade notes. If you would open a documentation of the Zabbix, which once again is uh, one of the coolest documentations I've ever seen, you can find a lot of stuff here. Uh, choose the new version to which you're planning to upgrade 4.0, the current version then we're looking for the Zabbix manual uh, installation no, 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 upgrade notes for 4.0 this is thing that you definitely need to read before upgrading to the next major version even if you are upgrading from, uh, let's say, 3.0 to 3.2 or 3.4, read the upgrade notes for the version to which you are doing an upgrade. Because you'll definitely find a lot of important stuff here that might save you a lot of time, uh, let's say, if you would be upgrading without reading all of that. It would definitely increase the chance that you would upgrade your Zabbix, try to start it and it doesn't start and you don't know what's the problem and that's the downtime for your company which of course is uh, not acceptable well I guess not the downtime of the company but the downtime of the monitoring solution inside your company and uh, as example the MySQL 8.0 support in 4.0 uh, you maybe already experienced that there were a problem with MySQL 8 and reserved words and the table names inside as Abex. So they were not compatible and you were simply not available to run Zabbix 4.0 or any other Zabbix installation in uh, MySQL 8. So now in the 4.0, where do we have MySQL 8.0 support? We can see to be able to add support of MySQL 8 this version, two database changes have been made. Groups table have been renamed to 
this and function field in the functions table has been renamed to the name. So since now, since this Ibex 4.0, my SQL 8.0 is uh, again fully supported. Okay, so next, when you have read all of this, uh, what you need to do in your actual CLI. This would be my Zabbix server. I have uh, Zabbix up and running here right now. I have a Zabbix, I have a database, and I have an Apache web engine as usual here. We need to make backups. And uh, we need to stop our Zabbix installation. So it will be a downtime of the monitoring software. So just type systemctl stop Zabbix server and also httpd. We can leave the database up and running. So we are stopping these. Then always when you are doing an upgrade between major versions from 3.0 to 3.2 or 3.4 or 4.0 make a backup of your database if it is large database it will definitely take some more time if it's small then it's not a problem but in general it doesn't matter you should always have a backup of your database just in case because uh, not the big but there still is a chance that something will break your database might get corrupted during the upgrade procedure so we will do the mysql dump then we will add also the dash dash single transaction just to not lock your database during the during the backup process uh, mysql dump Zabbix and let's put it in the TMP SQL dump SQL done well this installation was like uh, running for the last 20 minutes so the database was pretty small and there's nothing inside it but in the TMP I have uh, there we go I have my SQL dump so I have database backed up what else do we have in the Etsy Zabbix we have these files, the Zabbix server configuration file, agent config file, the web config. I would create a new directory and copy the Zabbix server.conf and uh, yeah, Zabbix agent d.conf to the new, let's make it like this, Zabbix server.conf to backup zabbix server.conf and cp zabbix agent d.conf to like this so just in case you will have your old configuration files for your zabbix processes and they will do if for some reason you could Potentially, let's say want to downgrade you made an upgrade something is not working then you need to downgrade your Zabbix and uh, let's say you want to replace uh, the new config files with the old ones simply because uh, all the parameters well this is absolutely a default file but in your production system you will have tuned parameters like the start polars uh, sizes of the caches the pingers trappers all other internal processes there won't be a default amount of them most likely not and uh, you don't want to spend your time for trying to find that gold spot again so just in case make a backup so you can have them uh, what about the front-end files and the binary files the actual binary files of the Zabbix server if you have uh, let's say a default installation without any modification to the PHP files or to the source code of the Zabbix which later was compiled to your custom binaries there's absolutely no reason to perform a backup of them so if you installed everything from the packages forget about a backup of the binaries if you have a stock uh, php files forget about backing them up because just in case if you will need uh, the old version the old files you can just grab them from the zabbix sources or from the zabbix repo so we have a uh, backup of the config files we have a sql dump we have zabbix server stopped agent uh, agent is running that's okay uh, apache is stopped now we need to upgrade 
our binary files of the Zabbix. We see if we will type the Zabbix server minus capital V. The current version is 3024 and we need to upgrade it. To do that, we need to upgrade our repo. If we would do rpm minus QA grab Zabbix, there we go. All of our repos are 3.0 but we need 4.0. So go back to, you can find this information in the documentation, or you can go to the download section in the Zavix.com and here click 4.0. By the way, uh, I didn't like that. I couldn't find here. Oh, there we go. I guess, or no. Where's the 3.4? I'm missing 3.4 and 3.2. Uh, despite those are not uh, LTS versions, I would like to see them here, but okay. Uh, so 4.0 LTS, this is a CentOS machine. 7, MySQL database, I need this line. Copy the repository link, copy paste it in our CLI and just change the flags instead of install, I am upgrading because I've already have this repo here. I have a repo of 3.0 and I am upgrading it to the 4.0. Retrieving, updating, installing, cleaning up, cool. Now I have a, a repo upgraded and uh, I would re recommend to do yum clean all and yum make cache. Simply because, uh, at least for me, the unlucky guide happens always when you upgrade the repo and uh, you try to upgrade the packages of your application. It doesn't have to be a Zabbix, it can be anything. Um, the computer, the server, Linux, whatever else uh, still thinks that you don't have upgraded repo and it tries to pull the old versions. So execute these two commands, clean all and make cache. Then we can uh, just type yum search Zabbix. And uh, yeah, we still have a Zabbix here. Then yum upgrade, not install, I'm upgrading Zabbix dash server and MySQL in my case. If you have a Postgres, uh, still same steps, but the package name will be Zabbix server Postgres. Uh, what else? Zabbix web, Zabbix web MySQL. And. Uh, I think that's it. I will add dash yes just to confirm everything. There we go, we're running an upgrade. Takes some time. Updating the Zabbix web, so we're pulling all the PHP files, the Zabbix server, done. We've upgraded the binary files of our Zabbix server installation and also the PHP files. And if we will now type the Zabbix underscore server minus capital V, we can see that we have 402, the new version of the Zabbix. But the database is still 3.0. And we need to upgrade it. But there's nothing for us to do. Zabbix does that automatically upon the start of the binary process. So all we need to do is systemctl start Zabbix dash server, click enter, and then always, always check the log file of the Zabbix server because you will see the lines like these. The upgrade of the database and percentage. C0 till... 100, database upgrade fully completed, starting event name update forced by database upgrade, so there was some change and definitely that is mentioned in the upgrade procedure in the documentation that I showed you previously here, that's one of the reasons why you should read it. Uh, okay, everything successfully, the server is started. You always need to check the log file because you could have potentially important information here. You could see that something failed, the upgrade procedure failed, one of the queries failed and you need to fix it. And until you will fix it, your Zabbix will not function properly. If 
let's say you're not experienced enough or you don't know what to do or you don't have time to look for the issues you you can't fix the problem the upgrade failed there is a problem you don't know how to fix it then just downgrade to your previous version restore from the backup replace the binaries to the 3.0 or whatever else and uh, continue the regular monitoring work that's why from let's say my experience i would always suggest to use a q a system the dev system where you can test the upgrade but long story short if you have a default schema of the zabbix database if none of your employees or somebody else changed any indexes or, or something else inside the database then usually normally this will run without any problems obviously the larger database you will have the longer it will take to perform an upgrade because that's a change inside the database and uh, in some versions depends on which tables are changed exactly it may take longer in some versions less time uh, again my my database was basically empty that's why it took less than a second another thing what's important you see we have one line action report problems to zabbix administrators condition trigger value equals problem will be removed during a database upgrade this type of condition is not supported anymore again this is important information if you would not check the log file if you would not check the upgrade notes really possibly that you would skip some changes in your monitoring environment and you would not know that that happened let's say that if this condition is removed the action logic might be broken and uh, if you don't know that well you might see that after a day or a week when it could be potentially already too late so uh next okay we have this upgraded system ctl start HTTPD and we can access our front end again there we go uh, yeah another thing when you are upgrading from 3.0 to 3.4 and 4.0 100% that after an upgrade you will see things like this that could also potentially scare you because well it looks uh, completely broken but don't worry, all you need to do is clean the cache of your Zabbix frontend. So if you're using the Chrome, then just Control and F5. There you go. Everything is fine again. And in the bottom, you can see that we have a version 4.0.2. That's it. We've upgraded to the latest LTS version. But uh, don't, don't forget, don't throw your Zabbix installation away right after an upgrade because well actually right now the most important time starts and you really need to keep an eye on your installation for the next days or even weeks just to make sure that everything functions properly check your uh, performance graphs of the zabbix the monitoring graphs uh, see new design of uh, time widget uh, host zabbix server Zabbix internal process busy, check that these processes are okay, they shouldn't be too high, check the collector processes, data gathering processes, cache usage, all of that should be normal. It should not be dramatically worse than it was before an upgrade. If it is, then there's some problem that has to be fixed, but long story short, that's about it. That is how you should upgrade your Zabbix installation and uh, the story doesn't really change based on which version you are upgrading. We right now did it from 3.0 to 4.0. Basically we skipped 3.2 and 3.4. It would be same procedure if we would upgrade from 3.4 to 4.0 or 3.2 to 3.4 whatever else. Procedure remains the same just make backups read and upgrade nodes and uh, if it is possible always test the upgrade on dev systems before doing it in the production thank you for your time and uh, yeah good luck with an upgrades goodbye